Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeevas, guys. And today we're going to be testing all the jewelry, gold, and silver that we found throughout all the abandoned storage units that we've bought so far. We're going to be running two big tests. The first test she's going to be doing. So the first test is going to be with this magnet, the one that we usually use for magnet fishing. So for you guys that are in this business, you probably know about the magnet test. So basically, we use the magnet to test if the jewelry is magnetic or not. If it's magnetic, you know right off the bat that you have fake. But just because it's not magnetic doesn't necessarily mean that it's real. But it will tell you right off the bat if it's fake. Second. The acid test. I don't know if you can see this. All right, let's move back a little bit. So first we have this white capped one, test for silver. And then we have 10 karat. 14 karat, 18 karat, 22 karat, and then platinum. So if you've never done the acid test, you basically scratch the jewelry on this little plate here, and then you drop a little tiny drop of acid on it. It is a legitimate acid, so we will be using rubber gloves, of course, on that. And if it's able to burn away the metal on the plate, you know it's fake or real based on that. We'll explain it more when we get to it. The first what we're gonna do is do the magnet test on every piece of jewelry we have. All right, guys, now we're gonna start with the magnet test. So basically, when I do the magnet test, I'm going to put a pile magnetic and non-magnetic. Magnetic. So let's get started here. Non-magnetic. Maybe it's silver. <laughs> this one, eh, slightly magnetic. This back piece, the majority of this one has stones on the front. So it's only this thin back piece. So junk. let's move these. You can second. pretty much bet if the metal's fake, the diamonds are fake too. I don't think anyone will right. put real diamonds on fake metal. Magnetic, non-magnetic. Ooh, that is. That's like strongly magnetic. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that one too. Well, kind of figured this would be the Jeez. case. <laughs> Alright, let's try this little ring. Not. Two rings so far, not magnetic. Yep. Oh, wait. That was like the chain part. Let's do this part. Yes. This part isn't, but I mean, it's really light. So I'm gonna assume that's like gold plate or something. Uh -huh. This little earring that is, I don't even see a match to this one. <laughs> We're still gonna throw that one over there. This one, I feel a tug. It's not strong, but I feel a tug. So I'm gonna put that in non-magnetic, I mean. Boo. Magnetic. Boo. Again, one earring. Oh wait, <laughs> here's a match. We've kind of been throwing all the jewelry oh. in a box. Magnetic. <laughs> Whoa. There's the match. Uh, these don't even match. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't have a match. Let's see. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> that, I'm going to say, is magnetic. Maybe using a 500 pull <laughs> force magnet wasn't a bright all idea. Right. Let's see. What else is magnetic? Oh, yeah. We got another one. <laughs> This is like this jewelry is, this fishing. This is like, exactly. <laughs> this is like the claw machine. <laughs> Except not rigged. No, no, no. I feel like if I do this, I'm gonna have like 10 of them just go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. This well. one, chain is, stop. <laughs> this piece is like slightly. <sighs> oh, there we go. Not magnetic. This part right here, like the edges have a slight pull, but the actual chain doesn't. So I'll put that chain. here. These? Yep. Mag I don't even know what those are. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. Yep. This, yep, that, yep. <laughs> that looks so cool. Look at this pile. That's yeah. ridiculous. Well, I mean, I figured so. Alright. These, yes. I like grabbing them with the magnet instead. <laughs> it's so light, but... The actual chain is not magnetic, only the locket part. So, put that okay. here. Um, again, this doesn't have a match. These don't have a match. I might find a match later, I don't know. Magnetic, magnetic, magnetic. That one didn't pick up. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's see. Not magnetic. All right then. Hopefully. Did I knock something over? No. Not magnetic. Uh oh. What this little thing? That is. <laughs> oh wait. Hold on. Let me get the chain because this is like the other one. 
Now the chain's not magnetic, but the ends are. All right. This big gold bracelet, definitely. If that was real gold, I think we'd be in a very <laughs> good situation. <laughs> what about this? Oh my gosh, yeah. I don't even know why we put that in there. Look. You just knocked one of the fake <laughs> diamonds out. That's how cheap that thing wow. is. Wow. Where did that even come from? The bottom. There's like a couple diamonds in the thing. I don't know if you can see that. But I got one that fell out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get them. Great. This ring. Not magnetic at all. Awesome. This is not magnetic, but this is like porcelain or something. So. Yeah, I see. It. Slight pull. Boo. Where should I put that one? Uh, we'll test it anyway. Let's just test it anyway. We don't have anything silver looking in that pile yet. It's mostly all old looking jewelry. This one? Not. Uh oh, there we go. <laughs> this one? Dun dun. Dun dun. Boo. These are not. Wow, I'm surprised at that. Yeah, me too. They look like giant. These look definitely fake. They might they be sapphires. Feel. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's magnetic. These not cool. This ring? Wow, really? It has Show like a that. slight, huh? That just looks so cartoonish. This has like a slight pull. But I'll put hmm. it here because it's only slight. This thing that looks like a snake. Oh, oh. oh wow. That's magnetic. <laughs> <laughs> this one? Nope. Not even the end. This one? Slight. So I'll put it in the non magnetic pile. This one looks like the oh, other wow. one. Jerk that sucker up. Man. <laughs> All right, these two. Well, it made it, it looked like, like it disappeared. <laughs> this is, I could, this costume jewelry, I can definitely tell that. Even though it had a, well, <laughs> even though that other one had a slight pull, I could tell that one was fake. Definitely, it looks like a snake. <laughs> yeah, it does. It looks like our, like our snake, Lucifer. Slight pull, but again, it's like really light. Probably fake. But the chain itself isn't. Hmm. I don't Could think this goes to it. Yeah, they're probably tangled piece. up. So one's magnetic and one's not. Yeah. I'll probably just tangle it all up. Um, oh, good. This is better. Wow. Yes. Look at the piles again. Magnetic, not magnetic. That's actually more than I thought. <laughs> These three. Ready? It's like a game show. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> All right. Which one's gold? Which one's not? Dun dun. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Both fakes. That was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now I get it off. Now I have, like, the prickly parts, like, stabbing me in my hand. <laughs> All right. Let's play the game again. Oh, oh wow. Uh, uh. uh oh. That's a pretty big bracelet right there, if it's actually real gold. It's a little bent. It is bent? Yeah. Gold's soft, isn't it? So, yeah. that could be a good sign. Last few things. These are like, they have a name. They're, I mean, I'm gonna call them pins, but they have a name, like pendants or something. Alright, last That's few good. things. Uh, That's the end. This isn't even metal, it's like the. <laughs> It's real it's string. <laughs> Where'd that come from? I don't even know. Yeah, that's real string. This it has a yeah. slight pull, but I mean, maybe plastic. Yeah. Well, most, both of these are mostly jewels, so I mean, the only thing that could be real is the back piece, and then that wouldn't be worth much. So let me pull this out. Magnetic. No, non-magnetic. Yeah. I think I've been like getting those computers the whole time. And <laughs> magnetic. Now, since that's out of the way, now we're gonna do the acid. All right, guys. So we do have a lot of costume jewelry. But we also have a lot of jewelry that wasn't magnetic. Fingers crossed, it's real. So if you've never done this before, I'll try to explain it in a little more detail. By the way, this acid kit's only 20 bucks on eBay, so pretty good deal if you do storage units or anything like that. But anyway, you basically scratch the jewelry on here. If it's real gold, all the way through, 
shouldn't matter because you're not going to scratch anything off of it. It's gold plated, you scratch it and you see something underneath of it and you know it's probably gold plated and the value depletes a lot. So basically, you drop it on there. If it's gold, you rub it on there and you'll go through the different acids. You'll drop a little bit of 10 carat acid on it. And as the, I have the instruction book right here. And basically, if it fully dissolves, it fit the vault, ugh, dissolves the streak, you know it's not 10 karat gold, or it's not anything below it, basically. If it's partially dissolved, then I would tell you it's between one and 10. And if it's fully dissolved, or not dissolved, my bad, I'm making this complicated than it needs to be. <laughs> if it doesn't dissolve at all, then you know it's above 10 karat. So then you would move on to the next one, 14 karat, repeat, same process, except, you know, 10 through 14. And same thing, you go to 18, 22 if we need it, but probably won't. And then silver is just its own bottle. If it dissolves, it's silver. If not, whatever. And then we have platinum. I don't think we have anything platinum. That would be pretty awesome if we did. But anyway, we're going to have to readjust the camera and let's get into it. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to be testing is this ring here. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to say this is probably fake for one because if you look at the front there, you can see that the gold's kind of coming off. So if it is gold, it's probably going to be gold plated, which again means it's not very expensive. But who knows? Maybe this part's fake. Maybe this is real gold i don't know but anyway let's just try to scratch it on here see how it gets it i mean you can kind of see that it's really hard to see can you see it on the camera i can see a streak <laughs> all right we'll go off of that let's try some 10 carat acid on it ready and I feel like a science experiment here. Come out, there it goes. Can you see that on camera? You can, but it's like slightly blurry. I have to, like I can't put it as far in as I want. It's, I mean, it's really small, so. But unfortunately, can you see that it's dissolving? You can't tell? All right, well, I mean, <laughs> take my word for it. It is dissolving, so this, unfortunately, goes into the fake pile. So that's junk, I'm gonna wipe it clean and do it all over again. Let's switch it up. Let's do this one that we're gonna hope is silver. Can you see that on there? Yeah. All right, so let's scratch this one on here now. And by the way, the first test you should do, we already done this, is look for markings in these. There's no markings in any of this. If it's real silver, let's say 0.925, that's what I have on my neck. Or if it's gold, it should tell you the carriage. 10KT, 14, 18, 22, 24 if you're lucky. But anyway, let's put a silver streak on this. All right. And let's get the silver testing out. You can't really see it, can you? Well, you let's take try this for it. and then um, we'll see if we can do another camera angle for you guys. All right, silver is a little bit different than gold. So with silver, you're looking for a certain color, red or green. And this is coming up, it's bubbling. There we go, let's sit. You can't see it at all, can you? I can't see a color, but I mean, I don't even see a color with my eyes. It's a very light green tint. And can you zoom on this? Just so you people that are wondering could tell, see what the color tells you. The top one? Yeah, right here, silver. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't read it because it's facing the other way. I don't have extra vision, but just in case everybody was wondering, mm -hmm. that is exactly what it tells you. So green, usually green means good, right? <laughs> no, fine silver is red. So unfortunately, it's probably a cheap, not as fine silver, but it is still silver. So silver is nowhere near as expensive as gold. So I don't know if it'll really hold any value. I mean, it has to have some type of value into this silver. So we'll put it in a separate pile. Since we can't get a good camera angle on this, it's just way too small to really focus good enough for the video. We're just gonna go through them all and then we'll separate them in a pile and let you know what testing what and the results of all the tests. So let's do it. Fake. This is amazing me. This one looks like a straight, something like out of a little girl's costume for Halloween, but I just did a 10 karat test on this and it is not dissolving at all. So this is greater than 10 karat gold. So I don't know what that means about the gem. Let's keep going. This is blowing my mind, guys. So we just dripped a 14 karat acid on it and this one still 
has not dissolved. So this is greater than 14 karat gold. This is absolutely blowing my mind. I am like, you don't understand. I thought for sure. Look at that. That looks like something you would find in like a little girl's princess costume for Halloween. Not something to be real. On to 18 karat. That is still not dissolving. We're at an 18 karat test right now. That is still not dissolving. All right, we gotta go up to now. 22 karat gold test right now. If this doesn't dissolve it, then you got something. We got something really expensive here. All right, guys, we just did all the gold tests on this. This line is still, I wish I could zoom in and show you well, but all tests, that streak is not at all changed. So according to the acid test, I mean, maybe that gem's gotta be fake. If that gem's real and this gold's real, you were talking about a lot of money, a lot of money. But anyway, that's crazy right there. Let's keep going. All right, so we have a slight dissolve on this one. Slight dissolve means that this is between one and 10 karat gold. I don't think they sell less than 10, so most likely this is 10 karat gold. Unless I've never seen a two or four karat gold necklace for sale, but maybe. So this is most likely 10 karat gold. All right, so now that we're done with all the testing, can you take a wild guess which piles the fake jewelry and which piles the real jewelry? Hmm. Mm. I think. That, that has to be fake. the fake one, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. <laughs> On a serious note, that's all fake jewelry. We had three pieces test the way we wanted them to test, which is not a good thing, unfortunately. That sucks so bad. It does. <gasps> but with the real mystery of the unit is this thing, that little tiny ring there, it tested all the way past 22 karat, and there's absolutely no markings on the ring whatsoever. So we really don't know what it is. Maybe if anyone has any suggestions, let us know, because I have looked up this thing very closely, zoomed in, cannot find any symbols, any numbers, any markings, or anything of any kind. So you ben, let us know in the comments. We really want to figure it out, because what if it's some like, that's the fun of this, you never know. What if it's like some ancient Egyptian artifact, you know, who knows? Anything's possible. So we really need information on that. <laughs> I think that's just silver, Definitely. and that was just, 10 karat gold. And it's not gonna be much worth much anyway because it's so light. Yeah, this thing is, it looks like basically a string. <laughs> That's why I'm pretty sure it would have been real. <laughs> like, can be threaded through like a needle. Oh, like, yeah, you like it's, thread thread too. Thread thread too. It is that you know I mean? tiny. <laughs> But anyway, I think that's just about going to do it. So if you thought this video was interesting, let us know in the comments down below. Literally, we've just been throwing all the jewelry we found, we, unless it was obviously real or obviously fake, into a bucket and just waiting to do a video, I guess, at some point on a night that we had no units and then we were most likely going to be snowed in. It's slushy outside. It it's going to it's gonna snow <laughs> until like, I don't even know, like I think 10. Two, yeah, 10 a.m. and then it's rain after that. So, I mean, maybe it's going to ice over. I don't know. We're going to be trapped inside. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up if you're not already. Hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunt videos all the time, like this. <laughs> Hit it. Imp slap it. Aww. I'll do that to you. No. You know, subscribe, like, comment. Follow us on the social media links <laughs> right here in between us over here. And I think that's it. So, until next time. Peace out. Peace out.